I got Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, and also, also. What's going on, everybody? Today we're taking a look at this Godzilla vs. Kong figure today. I actually found this at Walmart as well as the 12-inch Godzilla. I won't review a 12-inch Godzilla because I'm going on vacation, but I really wanted to review the 6-inch Kong. Now, uh, I, I kind of already have some problems with it. Uh, if we... His, 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 his pupil is missing from this eye right here. You could, t you could tell it was there, but it's like as if they painted it after they put the yellow on it's i don't get it uh but take a look at packaging here monster vs kong with battle axe warning whole bunch of uh logos for and up battle damage reveal which is right there uh kong's axe uh godzilla versus kong in the front see there beautiful artwork there monster vs kong godzilla vs kong down the back uh, we show, it says, uh, Legends Collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface, and the deep within our world is a speculation secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Back over here says Kong with Battle Axe. It says, Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with bone crushing primal, primal st strength. And a legendary new weapon to fit a king. See Kong here with a battle axe. All the figures to collect. Now I'm actually going to try to get all of these. Uh, especially I want this version of Kong. Due to the fact that this Kong already has an error. And mm, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I honestly really don't get it. So let's actually open this guy up right here. So zoom back in for you guys. So yeah let's get into it. Now here we have Kong, and I actually have not taken him, I haven't gotten the rest of the stuff out of packaging, but quickly look at that, that is so bad, like, that is ridiculous, I don't know what I should do, I don't know if I should get a sharpie and kind of do that, because I don't want to, I, I gotta get one really small, but the problem is I don't have actually any small sharpies, so that's a bit of an issue, I might have to return this guy because of that little paint error, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what else to really say. Uh, alright, so, good news, uh, I'm not gonna freaking return it. I've decided, you know what, I'll get someone to paint over I'm not, I'm not a good painter, so I'm just gonna get my mom to do it, because she is a fantastic painter. But yeah, so I, I kept the box as much as intact as possible, just because I screwed up this entire review. But let's actually take a look at the, uh, big accessory, is this axe right here. Let's actually turn on a light. Hey, here's the here's his axe, and it, I stop stop no. See, so looking at this axe here, it's actually really well done. It's it's a rubbery material, so it can move to get into get into Kong's hands. But other than that, it's actually really well done. It, and this does look like Godzilla's dorsal spine, dorsal plate, dorsal fin, whatever you want to call it, and it does look really well done. Uh, I'm wondering how he's actually going to do this in the film, if this is in the film. It would be awesome if this was indeed in the film, but we don't, we don't know. We, we really don't know. But, to get it into Kong's hand, it's only in this hand. This hand is a fist, actually. Uh, the way you actually do it is that you have, since this hand is actually rubber, you just have to kind of ease your way into it. And, like so, now, if you do that multiple times over time, this will, this will like, stop moving. So, it might be a problem, but... He does hold it pretty well. Uh, it is a bit loose, but he can hold it. He he reminds me of of Thor, 
with uh, Stormbreaker, and it works really well. I don't know why I turn on the light, turn off the light. But yeah, uh, another accessory he does come with is this little battle damage thing, and I don't know why they include it, but you know, you could just it could be like as if oh no, it I I can get it out. This why why is this so difficult? What why? Hey, I got it. All right, so here's the battle damage piece. Here's here's his piece of flesh, and yeah, it's actually really nicely detailed. There's nothing on the inside, and for the arm, it just covers up this joint here, and there's nothing interesting going on. So I would just keep that on. It's kind of difficult to get in since it does go underneath this joint here, but you can definitely tell that this gets removed because this is not cover it up while this is and I gotta say right now the articulation is really well done uh, for the detail on the head uh, as you see it's missing a pupil so that's a problem I think it's a pupil I'm not I don't remember it. I think it's a pupil and why is he's he's really dark here I, I don't get why they did that but whatever uh, you know, on the other eye though it does have some nice detailing here uh, there's some nice painting there as well as on the teeth uh, for the torso, it does also have some nice printing. It does show the scars. Why well, I say printing, it's a nice paint job there on the scars. And there's a lot of weathering effects, so it gets from, like, black to really dark gray brown. I don't know. This is brown. This is, well, I'm assuming to be really dark gray. On the back here, is, they didn't paint the back here for some reason, so it's just all gray. And his feet are also painted in this black, and it goes into gray. So I don't get why they did that, but hey, I'm not complaining. Hey, look, they didn't steal Bandai sculpt. Hey, I'm, I'm joking, by the way. Um, and for articulation, he's actually really decently articulated, which I was surprised because the Kong Skull Island Kong they made is not articulated well. So the head is on a ball joint, but it doesn't move back really far. Uh, it does swivel side to side, though, and this will go up. Uh, there is no waist articulation, but the arm can move out about there and can swivel side to side. Same with his knee, not knee. Same with his, same with his bicep, I believe. I, I don't remember. Oh, go that far and side to side. And his hands are, can go side to side as well. Is it a ball joint? Yeah, it's a ball joint. Yeah, it, it's a ball joint. I'm pretty sure it's a ball joint. I'm not sure. But yeah, and then you can actually get them in some pretty good poses. For the legs, the legs can swivel and go up that far and about back that far because his ass is in the way. There's a bend here, no swivel. And then there's no articulation at the foot. foot no articulation at the feet for some reason, but you can get them to bend. And you can actually get them in some pretty good posing. Uh, there we go. I got, I got him, in, I got him in pose here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And you got him in a pretty decent pose. So that's really cool. But like I said, it, the painting is a little bit off there. It is actually better than the Playmates, uh, classic series, but it is still a bit off. In some areas, like, why is this gray into black? I don't get it. But let's actually do some size comparisons. Which I need to get. Alright, now, here it is next to 6-inch Kong. And surprisingly, this guy is taller than this. Well, actually, hold on. I'll probably get him in a stance where he could actually stand up all the way. Still, he's, he's a pretty small boy. Ah. Uh, as you can see there, Kong move your arm. Yeah, this guy is surprisingly taller, but I he actually has a better paint job, in my opinion. Now, granted, this does have some weathering effects, but uh, he's brown. <laughs> this I don't know what what went wrong here, but yeah, it's really really strange. It's really strange. And now here it is next to. 11 inch Godzilla in package because I haven't opened them yet because I'm gonna wait a little bit. Yeah, uh See this this is accurate to like 
1930s or 2005 King Kong. This is pretty accurate. And yeah, as you see here, dorsal plate. It does definitely look like a dorsal plate there. But yeah, I was really actually really excited to see these because I, I, I thought it was really interesting. I haven't seen them because my Walmart usually sucks. We gotta get, gotta get Zach's back in there. And yeah. So overall, I was decently surprised about how good it was. This this was something I really wanted, but I didn't really know if it was gonna be good or not. Now clearly, there's a, a big painting issue, specifically right there in the pupil. But uh, overall, it's actually a really decent figure. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. Now, I will actually post a follow-up image on my Instagram uh, to this error here. It will be fixed. And, yeah, the axe is a pretty cool feature. Uh, but now I want to see what the closed mouth Kong will be. So I'm definitely going to get that. I'm going to get every, fig every figure from the 6-inch wave. Specifically, I want Skullcrawler and Godzilla. As well as the new monster, Nozuki or w Warbat. That's a stupid name. But, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like subscribe and i will see you guys later bye